Hi, this is Dustin with TruckerMath.com, and this is a video tutorial on how to use the tractor trailer calculator to estimate what an end dump will legally carry. So we're going to choose a three axle tractor and a two axle trailer. We could also do a three axle trailer and uh, depending on the end dump we could specify air rides and all that stuff just like on the dump truck calculator we did earlier so we have a tractor trailer here it looks nothing like an end dump but that's okay it'll still do the same thing so we're gonna say we have about a 200 inch uh, D1 30 inches is kind of typical for D2 and 50 inches 48 to 54 inches is typical for D3 uh, we're gonna have to pull out a calculator here and get some some distances so we'll say we have a 28 foot in dump times 12 inches is equal to 336 inches. We're also going to subtract about 18 inches to account for from the front of the trailer to the kingpin. So we're going to use 318 inches. TD2, you'll have to go measure that. I'm going to use 30, seems to be safe. And we're also going to use 50 for TD3. These numbers here, they can matter depending on the states you're in, and they can really affect your bridge law. Federal bridge law, it kind of is not really that big of a deal. Okay, so <clears throat> here's where everything kind of gets... Uh, important we'll pull out our calculator again we're gonna say we have a 28 foot in dump times 12 inches that's 336 inches and we're just gonna divide it in half to know that the load is gonna sit somewhere at 100 around 168 inches that means you have gravel or riprap whatever you have in there is evenly distributed and we're going to start out with well let's do 50,000 pounds we can come back and we're going to have to play with load one that's what we're going to try to find with this particular setup tractor weight we'll say is 12,000 pounds we're going to say 8,000 pounds is up on the up here on the uh, steering axle we'll say 12,000 pounds for a steel end dump kingpin this is where you this is a pretty important distance <clears throat> we will start about a foot ahead of the center of axle group just to see what that gives us you'll have to make sure that you have swing clearance and all that kind of stuff uh, in reality I we won't know because I don't know a whole lot about this tractor you'll be able to go out and measure and know a lot more <clears throat> just by looking at your setup so we'll have to pull out our, our calculator again which is not too difficult we have 30 inches for D2 and 50 inches for D1. So to find the center of that axle group, we'll say 50 divided by 2 is equal to 25 plus 30. That's the center, but we're going to add a foot because we want to put some weight up on this front steering axle. That's 67 inches. So we're going to start out at 67 inches for KP1. All right, we're just 
we're just totally overloaded here. Uh, 70,000 pounds for this short of a trailer. Uh, we might want to go back and add an extra axle. We can't do it from this screen, but uh, we need to pull out some weight. <clears throat> so, we need to pull out 4,000 pounds. <clears throat> So we'll say 50,000 pounds minus 4,000 is 46,000 pounds. All right. We're still overweight. Bridge law, they cannot, they're not going to hit you for this. Let's just pull out a little bit of weight to see if our inner axle groups are okay and if they are we'll call it good okay we're overloaded on the trailer axle that means that we need to move our load forward just a touch And now we're overloaded on our tractor axle because we did that. Notice something here. We can't really move it back too much. We want to leave about a thousand pounds for room for play here. So the easy fix to that is <clears throat> let's just add six inches to our kingpin. Getting close. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Federal law says that you can only hold 11.5. You're probably not going to get ticketed for that. I'm going to go ahead and just round that down. Uh, let's just move this down an inch. There. We're completely legal. We honed in on exactly the legal weight of this combination so you should be able to carry a payload of around 45 5 46 thousand pounds completely legal on the federal highway using these numbers this is Dustin Randall with truckermath.com thank you very much